The coronavirus pandemic has led to confrontations between the epidemic region. The CCP ruled China and the rest of the world. What has the WHO done? The WHO has been compromised by the Chinese Communist Party, CCP. It is a corrupt organization. Margaret Chan, former Director General, a native of Hong Kong, had been trained by the CCP to fill the position and acted as the CCP's proxy. In her words, death caused by a virus is necessary to wipe out old lives and evolve new gene. The WHO may act after the epidemic but not before to prevent it. That's a precise copy of the CCP's heartless and cold-blooded view. The Chinese military intelligence has spent huge amounts of money to infiltrate and compromise the WHO, just as it has on the Interpol, the UNHCR and all other international organizations. There has been serious wrestling in the WHO. The Chinese representative has prevented increasing the public health emergency level for the Wuhan epidemic. Meanwhile he declined other members' offers of humanitarian aid as well as rejected their requests for example to reveal accurate and complete information about the coronavirus, to let down the internet firewall to keep the epidemic information transparent and updated, to allow side investigations by international public health experts. The WHO leadership was in panic and rage after the leakage of the internal struggle in detail by the G News. They took back the minutes and other records in order to cover up the scandal. Yesterday they requested all representatives sign to agree setting the Wuhan epidemic as of moderate risk. Yet all declined to sign. Consequently, the leadership gave in by making an apology for its previously moderate setting and increasing the setting to high risk. Thanks to the exposure via G News, the WHO reversed its decision within 24 hours. What is the CCP's view? Meeting the Director General of the WHO, Xi Jinping the CCP chairman made three main points. Firstly, his party always prioritizes the people's lives and health safety in the primary position. Secondly, the Chinese dream that encapsulates the Chinese people's longing for beautiful and good lives is the goal pursued by his party. Finally, Xi himself is the commander in general to harness the epidemic. He has dispatched Li Keqiang, the premier, to Wuhan. Hu Zijin, the editor-in-chief of the CCP's overseas mouthpiece Global Times, blamed the CIA for launching the epidemic. His opinion has caused outcries in the media in France, the US, the UK all within 24 hours. What are the world's responses? Typically the war room hosted by Steve Bannon has held a series of discussions as to what exactly was the origin of the Wuhan coronavirus. Was it really caused by eating wildlife, for example bat, rat, snake etc., as the CCP claimed? Is it contagious between human beings? So far. A conclusion is generally reached that the coronavirus could originate from the secret biochemical weapon lab in Wuhan. The coronavirus is almost impossible to evolve naturally. It is artificially manufactured. Yesterday the U.S. has increased health travel level to the highest warning level 3. New stringent notice is yet to be announced to advise no travel to China's epidemic areas, decline the entry of the travelers from China, and even hold the CCP government liable for sending virus-carrying people to the U.S. The EU and the UN will follow suit. Indeed contagion is borderless. It is a matter of life and death. What is happening in the epidemic region? So far four features are observed in the epidemic region. 1. 95% of the humanitarian provisions including biochemical masks, that are bought by the Rule of Law Foundation, ROLF, and delivered to Wuhan, have been intercepted and confiscated by the authorities. Donations made by the Rolf have been rejected, given its overseas source. 2. Businessmen are profiting from the epidemic by selling urgently needed provisions at high prices. 3. The actual death toll in the epidemic region is 10 to 100 times more than officially claimed. 4. A latest finding is that people may die of a sudden death with no symptom. What are the major concerns about the epidemic? Miles Guo iterates four grave concerns. One. Since the roads leading to the epidemic cities, towns and villages have been destroyed, the people inside are basically under siege. In case some are ill or short of food and water, how can they get out? Water and food are expected to be exhausted in two to three weeks. What will happen three weeks later? 2. Interpersonal relations are deteriorating because of the interhuman contagious virus. Some virus-contracted people try to infect others. Some got locked up by their family members and hence collapsed. Some self-isolate at home with no food or drink. Such social conditions are expected to magnify and become critical in about three weeks. 
3. The social provision chains and materials transportation system that the CCP used to boast about are in fact unbelievably vulnerable. These have been aligned to the demands of the CCP chiefs and are incapable of serving and aiding the people. Medical treatments are unfair. Those who contract the coronavirus cannot get treatment but opt for self-isolation, unless they are governmental officials, in authoritative positions, or super-rich. Such unfairness entails many ordinary people having to die at home, some even unknown. Meanwhile the officials are hiding in safe shelters rather than work at the front lines. 4. With no food or water, being cheated and unfairly treated, people will become desperate and thus cause social unrest. The questions are begged to answer, who can discover those who have died behind doors? Who will cremate those who have died at home? Who will bury the dead? Who will look after the doctors and nurses who have worked at the front lines and got infected by the virus? In Shandong and Chongqing, as one contracts the virus, the whole family are locked up indoors or in underground cellars. Is this a crime or not? While the leaders issue orders in their offices, how can they be sure that the implementations are appropriate on site? Whereas so many people try to escape from epidemic Wuhan, who is responsible for the entailed contagion? Who is liable for deliberately letting out the virus carrying people to travel around the world? Thanks for watching.